Hello friends, this video on trigonometry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. In this video, we will study trigonometric functions. In trigonometric functions, we will study trigonometric concepts, degree measures and radian measures, sine, cos and tan introduction, graphs of sine, cos and tan, trigonometric functions, principal and general solutions. Now, the first question before we study trigonometry. Why do we need trigonometry? Let me take some example. Let's suppose you are standing here in this tower and there is an ocean. One enemy is coming in the ship. You want to find out how far is your enemy because you want to protect yourself. In such case, we can use trigonometric function because you know the height of this tower you must be knowing that since you are in the tower and through binocular if you can find the angle the angle between the tower and the ship you can find this distance using trigonometry trigonometry you can trigonometry you can have this formula of tan theta this is equal to d by h so if we have this theta you know this value of this you know the value of h so you'll get the value of d also if you want to find the speed, the speed with which this ship is coming, we can use same trigonometric concept to find the speed. So thus we know that we do have practical application of trigonometry in our real life. Also we can have a more example, let's suppose this, you are again standing behind a tree and someone is trying to approach you in the car. You want to know how far is the car from you, you want to know this distance. You can easily know if you know the height of this place, you know, because you are in this, you stay in this area, you know pretty well the height of this uh, small mountain. And then if you know the angle, if you can see the car, you can find the angle just by looking at the car and you know the height of this mound, you can very well get the D. Here also we can apply the same formula tan theta is equal to h by D. Since we know theta, we know the value of this and since we know do, we know the value of h that is known to us, so we can find the value of d. Here also if you want to know the speed, if you want to find the speed of the car, we can very well do that. To do that, what we have to do, we can measure the value theta in two different time, theta 1 and let's suppose after some time this theta, this is theta 1. So here in this case, we have to find theta 1 and theta 2 that is the angle that car substance at a given point of time at two different point t1 and t2 for example this the car was here at t1 the car was here at t2 so we can find these two angles and then we can find the distance d1 and d2 for example in the one case we'll get d1 in one case we'll get d2 and then we'll get the difference d1 d2 and we know the time so we can find the speed this may look complex to you but just we should know that using trigonometry we can find such things in our real life. If you want to find a distance of a distant object, when we know some parameter and we know the angle theta, we can find that. Also, if you want to find the speed of the object coming, approaching to us, we can do that. Uh, if you have not understood this part, don't worry, we'll do this thing in trigonometry and you'll, uh, your concepts will be clear. Just, just to know that we can do things in trigonometry, I have introduced you this concept. Oh, what is trigonometry? Trigonometry, if you break the word, is trigono plus metry. Trigono means triangle and metry means measurement. That is, it is nothing but measurement of a triangle. Now, what is triangle? Triangle is, if you break the word, it is tri, tri plus angle, tri plus angle. Tri means three. So, anything which has three sides is called triangle. So, if you take, if we have three sides, this is a triangle, this is a triangle because it has three sides. This is also a triangle. Anything which has three sides is a triangle. What is angle? It's a good question. Angle is rotation of a line about a fixed point. For example, we have this line AB. And let's suppose we take this point B fixed. We rotate this point B here. So here what we get is B dash. So this is nothing but angle. Angle is nothing but measure of rotation of a line about a fixed point. So here we have rotated, rotated B 
dash to this much so we can make and call it theta dash so we let's suppose we rotate this b further to get this point so this is called i'll call b double dash so this point will be theta double dash so what is angle angle is nothing but rotation of a line about the fixed point now we'll take some concepts in angle parts of angle one is initial side terminal side and the vertex so these are three parts of our angle initial side is the side from which we start terminal side is the side from where you end and vertex is the point from where you rotate for example in the last slide we have seen this ab was the line so this is the initial side now about the point a we have rotated b to this point that is b dash so this is called terminal side this is called initial side and this point is called vertex let me repeat once again initial side is the side from where you start terminal side is the side where you end and the uh, vertex is the point about which you rotate so this is the angle theta there are two types of angles one is positive and the other is negative so what so when we rotate this angle in the anti clockwise direction it is positive for example if this is a line ab and if you rotate this to this side in the anti clockwise direction this is positive angle similarly for line ab if you rotate this line in the clockwise direction b dash so this becomes negative angle here if you see this is the initial side this is the terminal side so we have rotated from here to here this is called o theta positive this is the initial side we have rotated this line in clockwise direction it becomes o theta negative measure of angle is nothing but the amount of rotation performed we already discussed measure of angle is nothing but the amount of rotation performed for example if this is the line we rotated this much this was the line ab we rotated this about point a this much so this becomes again b dash so this is theta so theta is nothing but the amount of rotation performed from initial side to get the terminal side this is what measure of angle and there are two types of measure of angle one is the degree measure and the other is the radian measure we'll discuss it in the next slide thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again